Today, we head back to Adams Park for Wickham Wanderers versus Charlton Town. It's the last away day of the season and there's no doubt that there will be some interesting items of fancy dress on show in the away end today. Wickham sit ninth in EFL League 1 on 68.7 points adrift from the playoffs, meaning their promotion push campaign has come to an end. Could be argued that the departure of Gareth Ainsworth, of course, long, long serving manager, uh, did probably have an impact on that. Wickham's form is not the greatest. They've only had two wins in their last five, and those coming up against two sides absolutely scrapping for their lives at the bottom in Forest Green and Cambridge. We sit 17th going into today's game on 50 points. Of course, guaranteed safety for next season, which is absolutely fantastic to see. However, we do come into this game off the back of a surprising 4 0 loss to Oxford, which we really did not turn up there. So hopefully we turn up and play some better football today and at least give the fans something to cheer about. It would be nice with it being the last away day of the season. If I'm going to give a score prediction, I genuinely do think it could be high scoring again. And the last few times we've played them at Adams Park, we've had like two free alls and a 5 all. So I am going to push the boat out a bit and go for a risky one. But I'm going to say a 4 all draw, very similar to our 4 all away at Aki Stanley last season. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. And if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please do smash like and subscribe. That would mean the absolute world. With nothing to play for for both sides but pride, who will come out on top? How many time will tell? Let's head to Wickham and find out. Right then, so the lineups are now out. I've come all this way with a Glen Ray mask, and he's not even started. Uh, Bonds and Sirkin are the two in the choice of central midfield, which isn't ideal for me, but it's probably a fair choice. Um, we're pretty much unchanged from Oxford, other than Farry coming in. Defence pretty much as usual. Freeston starts again, which is a bit of a surprise after Tuesday's performance. Of course, he wasn't the greatest on Tuesday, but... He's a great defender and he's proved himself this season, so he does deserve the benefit, the, the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully we see a good game of football like we have seen to do in recent years at Adams Park. But only time will tell. Let's go to kick off. Sure. 
Well, at half time, well, one and up, I don't know how. Um, it's been a pretty even game on the whole, I think. We've had some pretty good attacks. They haven't really looked like scoring. I don't think Southwood's had to make a save yet. Um, it could be more to us, to be honest. I think we, we have had some decent chances. Like We haven't had many chances, but when we've gone forward, we do look threatening. Penalty was, from, from what I've seen, but I haven't seen the replay, but it did look correct, the decision. We were crying out for a penalty, and, and it looks correct. So that's good to see that the ref made the right decision. And then Kina, I mean, what a penalty. To say that the keeper went the right way as well, greatly placed penalty, and happy days were won the lap. So second half, only top of the tower. Glenn is on the pitch, because Circle went off injured, so happy days for me. But yeah, so far, so good. Fingers crossed we can come away with three points, but it's a good start. I mean, this time last season, when we were here, we were 3-1 down. So this is a much improved version of that. So fingers crossed we can, can come away with the three points. Only time us out. Let's go second half.
Full time, Rick and Wanderers and nil, Challenge 3. God knows where that's come from. What a performance. Wickham did not turn up at all. Um, but, nice way to end the season when it comes to away days. This may be the last vlog of the season, uh, depending on how I'm feeling about Charlton. Because um, I've, I've slacked off a bit of home games. Oh, any last words? Up the town, what does he look like he's about to die? Oh, I am about to die. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for watching. If it is the last vlog, thank you all for the support. It means the absolute world. Have a gosh yesterday, and I will see you in the near future.